Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens with Once Upon a Game, and today I'm going to open a copy of the V Commandos expansion, Secret Weapons. You may have seen my unboxing of the V Commandos base game, uh, a, a gameplay brief I did of it. Awesome game, great game. Uh, expansions, this was manufactured uh, uh, overseas, uh, and the expansions are not, they're available online from the store. Um, the game in retail is kind of hard. I actually managed to find a copy uh, domestically in the U.S. at uh, Noble Knight, and uh, promptly ordered it uh, as a Father's Day gift. And uh, now I'm going to rip into it and see what happens. I hope I can get the other one uh, as well at some point. But uh, there is one thing about the uh, expansions for V Commandos is that you don't just add them like most games. You just where you would just say, "Oh, we got the expansion," and I add it to the game. Uh, and I got another expansion added to the game. And this one you add them separately. So it's probably a good reason to go ahead and wait and get one. In other words, you don't play with both expansions at the same time because basically you're adding additional uh, advanced enemies, things like that, that go with that mission. So you kind of have to keep them separate. Like hopefully they're going to be indicators so you can separate out the content after you've put it in there. But it's easy to do. So anyway, that's, that's enough of that. Again, beautiful artwork. Love the, love the art on this by Triton Noir. Triton? Noir. This is the Secret Weapons expansion. Let's see what we got inside here. Ugh. All right, so we've got our decks of cards. Uh, they are in uh, French and English, so the French deck, like in the base game, can just be set aside. It's kind of good that they did that. I mean, I hate the waste, but at the same time, generating two separate uh, and distinct copies. Uh, I believe Canada's got some really uh, strange rules on that. Uh, that if you sell it in English, you have to sell it in France, at least in the French-speaking provinces. So uh, maybe in all of Canada, I don't know. But it's probably easier just to say, hey, it's multilingual. So these uh, are the mission cards that tell you how to set up the different locations. The Actually, the mission card will tell you which of these locations to use, so on and so forth. So you're going to get you're going to get a deck of those. Uh, you're going to get your... Uh, Advantage cards, your upgrade cards, again, French and English. So the French, you need to set aside, they've sealed. Uh, get a baggie. Baggie, baggie, baggie. All right, you're going to get a sheet of counters. These are uh, new enemies. Uh, you get a couple of new heroes, an American and a British hero. Looks like you got a couple of resistance heroes, maybe. Uh, and you got Germans and advanced Germans. All right, so those look good. Nice, thick counters. Top-down view gets is, is is interesting because it's kind of like a video game, uh, but it kind of gets it kind of gets a little wonky trying to match up your characters. But uh, but it's still a good game, still a great game. So all right, so we got new terrain uh, overlays, uh, different status indicators. Um, again, same great material, and these will sit on the board and increase the increase the terrain. Uh, uh, what am I trying to say? The uh, Defense benefits of the terrain. All right, watch the gameplay video to learn how to play. Everything punches very easily, as you can see here. These have already kind of fallen out, and they are right there. So it happens. Uh, we got the rules, the reglas in French. And my sorry, my French is horrible. Hey, but we got it in English too. So I'm going to assume that that means rule book. See, I did that pretty good. So you get two rule books. So you can set the French one aside, and everything in the game really is language independent. So you're going to get new room tiles, and then these fit together, and then you got, on this sheet, you got door tiles and things like that for openings. So the, the location cards will show you how to set these up. And again, watch the gameplay video, and I'll show you how to play it. But what you're going to get is you're going to you get this sheet of a medium and four smalls. So like you've got another sheet here with a large tile. And let's see, they're all falling apart here. So, going by the empty frames, you get two large tiles, a me two medium tiles, and six more uh, small tiles. So, ten small tiles, three medium tiles, and two large tiles. And that is what we've got tucked away in here. Another bag. It's like cereal. Some settling may have occurred during manufacturing. 
All right, so we got one, two, three mediums, two larges, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten small tiles. You get the rule book in English and French. You get the counters in no language at all. You get the uh, upgrade cards and location cards in English and French. And somewhere in there is going to be the missions too. Yeah, these got the these got the missions. Sorry, so they're in, they're in here as well. These are location cards. These are mission cards, and uh, so you get those in uh, French and in English. And we get some lovely wasted cardboard. Throw away. Actually, they do a really good job of not wasting a lot of cardboard. That's actually very impressive. But anyway, that is what you're going to get inside the secret weapons expansion for V Commandos from Triton Noir. Thanks for watching. God bless you.